What is up guys, back with yet another video, and today I'm going to be going through my collection. I know someone suggested to uh, do a collection video, so why not? I grabbed all four of my hex binders, and we're just going to look through them. Why not? And you can see what other character cards there that are in there as well, since majority of them are in here still. Since I only play like one deck. And you guys should probably know, it's a flip deck. So this is the Bakugan Battle Brawlers binder. More than likely, I probably won't be talking through the whole thing, just be flipping through pages so you can look at them. But I'll probably point out a few things, so yeah. Just get that in the frame right there. Shiny. For some reason, Battle Brawlers was the hardest to complete. Not only because it's the biggest set, because it's about 360 cards, I believe. But there were some cards that were actually just harder to grab Hex for some reason. Uh, I just don't know why. Uh, especially Packed of Darkness. Oh, there, there it is right there. Um, I was lucky enough to actually pull one. I think we only pulled a total of two hex packs. Uh, the other one, don't know what we do with it. Probably traded it a long time ago. But, uh, Stand Together. Only ever got one, but it's still a nice card. And I remember the last card that I was able to get was a Chaos, uh, Evo, just further in. Uh, Dan. Oh, I believe this Dan, uh, actually has... The, it's like misstamped. It says Dan Cuzo, Dan Cuzo, and then it's like all shifted down right there as well. The stamping, I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool, so I kept that one for the collection. And um, I only collect uh, one of each hex, so yeah, I don't. I know some people collect play sets of it, and I just think that's ridiculous. Like, there's not, there's no way I can do that for Battle Brawlers. It's like near impossible for me because that's a lot of money. Uh, I believe it was, yeah, Titan Pegatrix was the hardest one to get. I remember I got this at Attorney. Like, I was playing the deck, and I was like, hey, I have a regular one. Would you be interested in swapping and then I throw you some more cards? And he was like, sure, if you need it for collection, uh, obviously your last card. Because it was the last card. I asked him, it's the last card I'm missing. And he said, yeah, that's fine. Because he didn't care for it. He just wanted one to play, and just he got more out of it. So thank you for that trade. I honestly forgot the, your name, or I forgot everyone's name from that Attorney, except for, you know, like, Jet. <laughs> Because uh that, and then of course my friends that went. But, yeah. Ooh, here's the character cards. Love it. And yeah, it's organized by number. I should have said that earlier, but I'm pretty sure you can figure that out. Because you all are, all are smart. And there's, uh, where is it, where is it? There's like so many Hyper Dragos in here. There's three, and then I got one more of the Diamond, the Hyper, still sealed. So that's going to get like a thick stack. I might just throw them to the side, because... That's probably going to stretch it out. Cindy is why you bad. All right, that is our first binder. Sorry if I went back too quickly, but I'm pretty sure you'd be more than likely able to pause it to go through. Uh, next up is Resurgence. And uh, the, the character cards continue over to this binder because the binders can only hold uh, 360 cards. But the entire set, uh, the last number for Battle Brawlers is 374, which is a gold, which they probably threw it in late. So that's why that went there. Uh, the GameStop promos and the... Promos from the figures, which are non-hex. They're foils, but they're not hex foil. So technically, to collect them all, I, I, I bought the figures just for the cards, not going to lie. And of course, they are god-awful. They're very bad cards. So, yeah, this is Resurgence now. Aquafy, I actually want to get some shiny ones from my deck and some uh, more blinding inks, because why not? Less shiny. Should be that right there. Cool. Super feel. Oh, I was like so happy to pull it. I remember Alejandro was lucky enough to just buy one pack. He pulled Hex Super Fuel and Super Fuel from the same pack, which was probably the best thing I ever saw. Shiny flips. Got to get those flips. Showing Kaz Kazami because he's uh, good and needs a reprint, unfortunately, because I own just that one because I don't care for the card. I always get rid of it when I have the chance. It's because I, I play flips. I don't need it. <laughs> oh, I remember the Elias. I miss that deck. I'm playing the new Elias, so I guess it's all right. But that was shields, you know, orange shields. Gross. Got that Gortheon from Andrew. And apparently, out of all the packs, we only got one Hex Gortheon. And he only bought, like, one pack that day. We bought a bunch of packs. He got one. I think he pulled that. And I was like, I want. So he eventually traded it to me. I think I gave him, like, two of them for that and something else. So he had his play set right after. Very, very fun more shiny i think we're almost done oh we're in the character cards okay so uh there is two missing it is gorthion ultra which i need to take apart that mono deck because we did a mono turn in the video brawl league <laughs> and it, of course it was the most biased to one deck tourney ever 
Aqua's fun. Uh, Aquas was going to win. Uh, faction, the Aquas bubble, if the opponent's playing all the same faction, it's a four cost for 1500. And if they're not playing Aquas, they're not negating it. And you're basically winning from there. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, I uh, went to game three. I lost, I missed my roll and lost because of it. Because my Cubbo uh, was evoed up. I would have won against the opponent's Cubbo by, I think, 200. And it was hilarious. It was so bad. But hey, that guy go went up to uh, ended up winning the tourney. So yeah, <laughs> it didn't matter. An Aquas won the tourney. Oh yeah. So yeah, Cubbo and Gorthia and Ultra. Uh, sorry, I should have ripped them from the decks. Actually, I think Cubbo is in something else. Darkest Cubbo. I'm glad I got those Evos. I want to make a deck with it, but you know, I'm lazy. You should know this. Uh, what is this? Oh, Andrew is barring my Pandox right now, and it's running amazing. Especially since Panox, they confirmed that it does gain the additional gear reductions that the other Bakugan carry. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I read it when they asked the ruling for the Panox. And yeah, Panox is pretty good. I wish it was a 3 cost, but then I think it would have been like Borderline almost busted. Versus it being a 4 cost, and you basically have to lose a battle. Assuming you're not playing Pyrus and you uh, get it out quicker with Super Fuel. But yeah, I just wish you had a little bit more damage. Maybe 5. Alright, Chaos Viserox. Pyrus Viserox, I have my Mono Viserox deck, and um, I just ordered the Phaedrus core, finally, from the Red Arena, because, you know, that thing never existed. There was only ever a few out in the wild, which I think they were only spotted at the Anime Expo, I believe, and, like, the, in the, some in California, I think. But I ordered it, so I'm getting the Arena and the figure, just basically, basically ordered it for the figure. There's only two listings. Um, the other one was just the figure for, like, 18 bucks and the card, but it had a lot of edgeware around the whole thing. It was bad. This one, the card looked slightly, I want to say warped, not bent. But if I just throw it in a sleeve and leave it in the binder for long enough, it'll be fine. But uh, that was with the arena as well for 28 So an extra 10 got me the full arena. Basically just retail price for a used arena and figure and character card. So yeah, this will be complete. Oh, I lied. Uh, this will never be complete because um, they never released Ventus Scorpros. Because I believe Scorpros is supposed to go right here. <laughs> and it's so bad because Resurgence is only missing one card. The whole set is complete, but we never got Ventus Corporos to finish it. I just wish... I don't even care about Ventus Corporos' effect or anything. I just want it because it was the only Resurgence Bob gun to not be released to finish my binder. And then the other Bob gun is in a deck. It is the Viserox Ultra running in my flip deck, of course. Unfortunate there. We got the Maximus Drago. Uh, I, technically, it's not complete because I had the actual... This is the Amazon one that came with all three international. But I want an actual English copy, just a regular US copy. I had it, uh, the Maximus Drago I won from Jet's first tourney, but uh, donated it to Toys for Tots. So I wanted to open it just for the car, but I said, eh, I'm just going to hold this and see what happens. And just ended up getting rid of it. These look very nice in a binder, by the way. I really wish we had more of these. I'm not going to lie. I know they're trash compared to the Echo character cards, but they should throw this in something else just for free because these look pretty nice together. I'm not going to lie. I believe that's the end of that binder because I started Age of Arliss in the next one because that'd be weird to have a weird break halfway through the binder. Just a lot of movement for me. All right. Next up, Atasia Varless. And uh, spoiler alert, it is not complete. Um, oops. Sinkhole is missing, but it's in my deck. Because um, I only have one, but I do have one coming in. So that'll be a lot nicer. And yes, this binder is missing a lot. I am expecting four more cards to come in, which is um, Hex Shadow Skeleton, uh, Drum Wave... And Thunderstorm, so I can finish my darkest lot there and uh, have two more Chaos cards. What's, and then there was a Hex Hyper Green, which is really nice. Uh, I need Hex Wildfire and Lava Spray. I think I'm only missing, after I get my stuff in, maybe like 14, 15 cards. It's not that much. But the only actual valuable cards, I'd say, is Tusk Guard and maybe Gold Hydra, which is outdated now. But just Tusk Guard. See, a Tusk Guard is missing. Unfortunate. <laughs> Um, Magnus, Living Arm of Tico, I'm missing, and, uh, Roll, uh, got me a Dan, um, so that's nice, so I just have the Dan, uh, sending out Rolls, I didn't go pick it up, but then I'll have almost all the heroes but one. Was able to get this during the Maximus hype, uh, unfortunately, the Maximus was broken for, like, a day, what was it, a day, an hour, I can't remember, where they said all Leah's, all Winston's work for it, but then they revoked it, but I was able to order the Leah for, like, $25 hex, but um, I'm glad I did because I think someone actually bought the one off TCG for 55 hex. So if I probably didn't get this, they probably would have. So this was just a lucky, lucky grab. And I, I know it's not worth 25, honestly, in my opinion, but I want it. So yeah, collection, you know. 
You gotta have them shiny cards. Uh, Diamond Trino and I do have Goreen coming in. I have yet to see a Diamond Trino. And the other one's Gold Hydra. I have all the Darkest, I think. They were really easy to get. And the Hayons. Like, from actual packs, from what I've seen, these two cards existed way too much. And these two as well. These four cards were so easy to get Hex. I believe I have a playset of this, this, and this. It is not even funny. Even Pandox. Andrew pulled two Pandox Hex a few days ago from, like, two, three packs. And then I've actually pulled a playset of Hex Pandox as well. So I feel like Age of Arliss was legit a broken box. Like the ratios were absolutely garbage. Oh, oh, real quick, sorry. Um, this is complete. Uh, it's in my deck. It's the Hayas Spice Rocks and the Pyrus Spice Rocks. And I do have the Pyrus Titan Hydroid coming in. Was able to finish this uh, page. Uh, I ordered uh, this. They sent me a Hayas one. So I asked them, hey, you get me the wrong one. But they said, okay, we'll send you that. And we'll send just send back the Hayas. So glad they straightened that out because I was about to say it. <laughs> that would have sucked. And yeah, I'm missing a lot of Ventus. Uh, I believe it's Fade Ninja, Viserox, Truncanius. And I, I, forget, I forget the rest. Oh, Maximus Hydronoid and um, some other stupid one probably. But yeah, and then of course the character cards are up next. Um, if there is something missing, it's actually missing because, you know, they canceled Age of Arliss basically, the rest of them. So that, that sucks. I, I kind of wondered, was there ever going to be a fourth booster set from the Battle Planet line? Because a lot of the Bakken never got Evos. Like uh, Fade Ninja, Aquas Goreen, I really wish got something. Even Fade Ninja I wanted to play. And Gold Clopter, uh, it was Clopter Core Arliss that's missing. Uh, never got released. It sucked though. It was like, uh, if you play an Arliss card, get 200B. So it was it was pretty bad. Let me zoom that in a little bit. There we go. So yeah, it, it was bad. Um, I can't remember any, I don't think I'm playing anything from here. Besides, I think the Darkest Viserox uh, from the... From my Vice Rock deck? Yeah, that's the only thing that's not in here, I believe. But everything else just didn't get an Evo. <laughs> Imagine if this got an Evo. I wonder if it would have been like the Titan Trox, the Pyrus from AE, where it's like a 110, you pay 5, and it goes to 220. Now, that would have been fun. <laughs> I would have loved that. Uh, let's see. Darkest Kareen, I feel like, kind of not really didn't have potential. There was just so much that didn't get anything at all, and it was very disappointing. But, hey, Pyrus Fade Ninja is pretty cool. I just wish he got an Evo. He would have been... Probably a pretty good one. I do have Ventus, Ventus Pyravian's character card. Not the figure, because this came in a three-pack as an error. You remember that? There was like, it was like wave seven, eight. The whole like line was basically an error. Especially since I remember Gold, Gor uh, Gold Gorthion came with Gold Clopdor, and Gold Clopdor came with Gold Gorthion. And one was a three-pack and one was a five-pack. So it was pretty expensive if you wanted to get them both. Or you could just ask Finn Master to send you stuff. Assuming they got back to you. Speaking of which, I still have yet to get my gold Gilatar, uh, because I still have that stupid Rhea Raza character card, which we'll see in a bit. <laughs> so that's fun, and I don't think there's anything else in here. But the next binder is Armored Elite, which is probably the nicest one to look at, which people probably want to see, because Armored Elite doesn't exist anymore. It is a discontinued set now at Targets, oh, from what I've seen from my Targets, and some other people telling me the same thing. If so, we gotta rely on something to just get the distribution out, um... I do have a trade going on with someone as well, so I am getting an Aquas Crest. I believe it goes right there, or here, uh, and like a few other cards. I just know this set's miss. I'm missing like 30, 40 cards. It's not as much as you think it is, but uh, the big cards I'm missing are Mega Pega Hex, which Rawl needs to sell to me. He needs to give it to me. Rawl, if you see this, give me, take my money, take my cards. I don't care. Just give me your Pega. And then Ventus Drago Hex and Hex uh, Maximus Trox. Those are probably the big cards I need. Um... Probably Ventus Drago being the hardest one to grab. Hex. Uh, okay. I'm missing three cards there. I don't know what they are. I actually don't remember the whole set. I believe I'm missing a Heos, which I am getting. And then I'm missing Magma something. I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, no. It's that card. Um, I remember Briar used it. And it was insane. It was... Uh... Dang it. I, I can't remember. Lava Flow? No. You basically both players discard their entire hands and I think draw three cards. It's like Inferno Cannon, except you draw a specific amount. I know it's a forecast. And then I'm missing a Ventus and then the Dark Ambush Hex. I am missing Hex Dark Rage. I lied. That is another big card I'm missing. Oof. Big oof. I have pulled everything else almost. Uh, Nature's Wrath and uh, Recycle Hex. I'm getting the Flast Flip, which is Aqua Slime. I think this next page is beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's basically done. Uh, the flips were very easy to get Hex. 
like really easy. I do have a few duplicates of I think natural defense and what is it over and under over and under is in my deck though. I'm missing one here on this page. I think it's Fade Ninja Baku Rider. And then I'm also missing the other dual faction, which is Lily. And the rest is all gear cards. I am missing so much Aquas gear compared to the rest. I have like four or five darkest, four darkest. Wait, did I skip a page? No, there's just like no Heos gear. Oh no, I'm not missing a bunch of darkest then. Actually, I have all the darkest, sorry. But I am missing a lot of Heos. I'm missing for Pyrus. I think I'm just missing the Rage Mask. Ventus, I don't know. Missing some Evos. Uh, I think they're the Diamond Evos, which are pretty much garbage, so it should be easy to pick up. But uh, I have the Neelius. That, that one's a, that's a beautiful one. Hex. Especially since it's not getting reprinted now that they confirmed with Garganoid's Gaze. So I'm kind of sad, especially since everyone was telling me this card's not worth crap. Um, I guess they got the better end of the deal. Actually, I lied. Um, I made sure that I didn't get hooked on that card because I knew there was something up with that card. It did not feel right. And hey, guess what? My intuition was right. So, ha. Maximus Drago looks beautiful, Hex, by the way. Uh, we pulled a total of two of these. I think Andrew has my, the other one uh, in his deck, and it's really nice. Uh, I just wish it was a five cost, just for the stats, but that ability's trash. <laughs> play Rapid Fire from Discard for free. I guess the only thing that'd be good for is to play a gear for free, just to give him the extra damage and B-Power. But it's on Victor, so you have to have already won. It's just for damage at that point. I guess Runa's Blade will also help, so it's actually, it has potential, but it's not a five cost, so I don't want it. Missing those two Venza's cards, and then I'm not, I'm missing a little bit from the Armored Elite figures. Uh, I don't think we're missing that much either. If I'm correct, everything's already out, because uh, we're starting to get Fusion Force uh, figures ready, and there's no more Armored Elite in there, so if I'm correct, I'm missing three of the Ultras from Wave 2, because those never hit our stores. The Wave uh, 2, 3 packs never hit stores for some reason. Let me know if you ever found them, because I've just seen them on Amazon. It is the reprint with Drago Ultra as a 3-pack. The Darkest Gilatar, Ventus Trey Taurus, and what is the other one? Aquas Enoch. Yeah, I have yet to see them in stores. I know people have seen the Aquas Enoch single, but I'm talking about the 3-pack. Uh, I have never seen that. I know I ordered that one. and Gil I ordered Gilatar because they revealed his um, true character card. So when you start the Game Boy Player's discard a card... And then his Evo also got shown as well. So when you, uh, I believe, when you play a Baku gear on him, or it's Victor, I think it's Victor. Yeah, both players discard cards equal to the number of gear he has. I could be wrong. I think. Either I'm getting confused with Pegatrix, a uh, true character card, because I think that one's when you equip a Baku gear, they discard a card. But um, yeah, I can't wait for those to come out. Hand control's fun. Got a lot of Auralis here as well. I feel like there's a lot of Auralis from this set. I love Ramp variants. Dom mold, by the way. That's a that's a fun one. I am in. The, I have yet to buy the Mini Nealus Core, but the cases have not shown up. I feel like they just don't send out the or the products not being like I just in stock of the stuff that really didn't sell well. Because I know storage cases su su were sitting on the shelves for a while until some of them went on sale. And the arenas for sure. Uh, those new arenas, I think they already showed like two more. I don't think they're gonna hit shelves in my opinion because the arenas. I don't want to say sell bad, but Usually only the big collecting players get them just to collect it or just have it in case it's a decent figure. But that's probably why the red arena didn't get released. I think the blue one, not only was the Bakugan garbage from there, but it was just, it was in stock everywhere. It was ridiculous. <sighs> so much potential. I really think they they forgot to put the ability on his uh, Evo. It, uh, like, for real. It was It's so bad. It's like the same stats as him without the fire face. It's, it's dumb. Or with it, I lied. He's like... A hundred more for two costs? It's it's awful. Where is it? Pegatrix Ultra is getting the true character card confirmed where you get the Victor attached to Bakor from the field to it. So you can get some extra damage, especially since it's only one. Or you can attach some uh, reduction and, you know, play a gear possibly. Especially since I believe it is on Victor, you can still add more to it with uh, the Baku gear. Draco, I just realized I'm not playing that. I haven't played Pyrus in a while. Like... Good Pyrus. I'm not counting my Viserox because that deck is absolute just fun. It wins because I can turn one Fury in my hand. I know. I said the no-no word. But um, it's fun. As much as it pains to say it, it was fun. Oof. Kill me. Um, I am missing Ventus Neely's Ultra, but I just ordered it because it was on eBay for like $12. Because um, it was sold on Amazon. It just got released on Amazon for 11 But you have to order, if you don't have like, you know, the Prime whatever... You have to spend 25 or more to get the free shipping. 
And I actually was going to order uh, Darkest Galatar. I did order it from eBay, the Darkest Galatar. But from eBay, um, you have to order 25 or more from Cuckoo, uh, from that seller, Cuckoo Toys, to get the free shipping. And Darkest Galatar was $24.99. <laughs> so I had to buy two things to get it. And I'm only missing like three packs, single packs, and the big Baku Gear packs, the four packs technically. Um, so I had to spend like 50 bucks just to get it because I was going to just buy two three packs. But I said, nah, I'll just get it from eBay for 24 because uh, I don't have to pay the shipping, basically. <laughs> So it does take a lot to come in, but yeah, you might want to check that with, um, in case you don't have to pay the extra shipping and you're not buying more than one thing, just try eBay because Huka Toys has the stock on there too. There's some stuff missing on there from Amazon. Oh, I think they updated it already. They have the starter decks on eBay too. They're the same price. All right. And then there's the final page. Everything upside down is uh, Fusion Force. Simoga. Oh my God. I want to make sure Orange Shields again just because of this, guys. I know Orange Shields are gross to some people, but hey, it was the first actual win i got an attorney with a deck it was shields mono shields darkest nelius hey all serpentis aquas pegatrix core and plus if you give this guy the good old reduction orange um he'll be at 1205 or you can get him the 300 shield he'll be at 13.5 not bad for an r list with orange shields this is probably the best orange shield r list i think it is the best orange shield r list um trino was the number one candidate with azebo but azebo is just so hard to grab we do have a place that Unfortunately enough, I think we have five of them. Uh, five total, not five playsets. I wish we had five playsets. Um, this disappointing card. It is it's so bad. If you guys haven't seen that, me opening the gold guillotar, if you want to get a good laugh out of it, uh, watch it. it. It's so funny. The reaction to getting this, because we thought this was over with. The stupid, stupid distribution. Which, um, again, we, we got a lot of packs in Texas, but, you know, the errors, sorry, not distribution, the distribution errors. So, that is disgusting. Oh, Darkest Cycloid's fun as well. You guys should try this out. I'd recommend getting him. He's really good. Double Red Fist, 2-8. On a Fire Fist, if you use the 200 reduction, he's going to be 1,011 with 2 reduction. That is really good. So, you can win in B-Power or in uh, Disgusting Macmark decks if you play those. They're, I know, they're not really disgusting, you know, they're just... Damage wins, am I right? <laughs> Which, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I used to play them back in the day when it was just Midas Aeneas. It felt like fun when it was just Midas Aeneas, because I don't think anyone was playing Mac at the time until Super Fuel hit. But, Midas Aeneas was a fun card. It was balanced and fair. Mac is disgusting. <laughs> but we have Sinkhole now. Oh, I lied, did you see the stupid new negate card? Jesus, go check that out. If you see that card, it is so dumb. You can negate anything for two costs, any action. It's, it's basically the better blinding ink. Actually, I like play blinding ink and that. You have six negates. Have fun. And I believe that is it for the collection. And um, I talked a bit more than I thought I would. But hey, I'm just trying to engage y'all because y'all are cool. And uh, thank you for anyone who commented suggesting to do this video. I know uh, I think it was about two people that did it. I know it's not that much. But, you know, hey, it's their input. I wanted to do a video for those who wanted to see the collection because it's nice. This binder is very thick and heavy. Compared to the rest, because it's Battle Brawlers and it's the whole binder is full. Oh, that is disgusting binder. I don't even know how people get the Master Hex set now. They get a playset? How many binders do they have, or do they shove them behind? I don't think. I feel like they don't. They put them in rows of uh, the playsets. But that means you're going to need three binders for Battle Brawlers. Correct me if I'm wrong. Assuming you organize them in a binder, don't just throw them in a box. That's a lot of money. These binders are. These binders went up in price. These were at targets for twenty. Apparently, they're like fifty bucks now. I was lucky enough to find the, oh, if you guys notice, it, uh, this hurts my brain, but hey, who cares? These three have the red and white, and we're at Target for 20 I had to order this because it was 20 as well, but apparently the one with the white strip was like 50 re uh, reselling now, so, oof, it hurts. So I'm probably just going to use, I guess it's not that bad since this is Battle Planet right here, and then this can be Armored Elite, assuming these don't sell out again. So, yeah, that's just this fun fact, how much I spent on binders because... You gotta buy them. Actually, I still need to get another one for Fusion Force because the whole set's almost been linked. I believe we're only missing basically the rest of the four Bachman Elites, which are uh, obviously going to be uh, dual faction gears because we know Tidal Cannon is the Darkest Aquas and then the Pyrus Chaos is the Crystal Blaster. And if I had to take a guess, either Arliss is getting a good gear and we can finally do an actual Mono Arliss deck or it's going to be Ajit as a hero. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of this video? What do you think of the upcoming Fusion Force cards? Are you going to order any new Bakugan from this line? Because there's a few that are pretty good. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And be sure to stay tuned for more awesome battles. Uh, probably in a few days, you can hang out again with the nerds. And we might live stream or just do some battles. So 
Let us know what you prefer. I know a lot of people say just do what y'all want, but I want to know what y'all prefer, live streams or battles, because real realistically, <laughs> we do this. That's just the same thing, really. Just one's longer. If people, I know a lot of people don't have nothing to do anyway, so we'll see how it goes. Um, thanks for watching again. Really enjoy the awesome feedback, and see you on the next one.